Welcome back guys to Pokemon Wise. We head on within Victory Road facing trainer after trainer and realizing the true weakness of our squad. Like using some O powers I've topped up Gardevoir a little bit. As we continue to try and find which way is out, which way is forward, which way do we go? That's really the question here. And is there anything secret on this rock? No, but while Pokemon want to say hi in the meantime... What on earth are you? A wild Vilus. Now, what type are you when you're at home? Hmm... I do wonder if it's dark, which means the dazzling gleam seems like a better prospect to me. Indeed, it does seem to be it, though of course it's probably a dragon as well, which means that that wasn't really a conclusive experiment, was it? That was not a conclusive experiment whatsoever! I'm just going by colorings again! I should look at it and say, hey wait a second, you're also a dragon. Oh yeah, that might be true. Ah uh, yeah, I see, I see. Well I hope I don't need strength to go forward, but it seems like more like strength is deciding shortcuts back again. There's a horde of Geodude up here. Too bad I can't send five quick balls out. I'll have you all! A Geodude? I'm not sure. But we do know, a dazzling gleam will hit them all and pretty much make them faint. We do like to be shiny. Now it seems one of them has Sturdy, which is actually perfectly brilliant. For... this is quite good, thinking about it. Uh, we leveled up, but this is really good if we want to catch one. I mean, we've got a Graveler, we may as well get a Geodude as well. Right then, Pokeball Go! I imagine a Pokeball will do, it should be only on 1 HP! Will we ruin our good catch rate with Pokeballs? I should have hypnotized it! I don't want to ruin it! Yeah! We can trust Pokeballs, that's for sure. Right, another Pokemon caught, another one added to the Pokedex! Judo's data was added to it. Come, come, come. Let's have a read. It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contests of hardness. I'm sure. It doesn't sound like the most fun that I've, you probably could ever have. Let's just whack each other. Woo, that's fun. Well, that is the idea of Pokemon battles as well. Ah. Well. It seems my path... It's somewhat blocked, but either way, I'd have to get round to the side to be able to do it. Now, for this point, I'm going to start using a repel just to keep some Pokemon away from us. While we try to work out exactly where we're going, he says. Where am I looking for repels, he says again. Do-do-do-do-do, repel. Oh my goodness, I don't have any more, do I? This is not good. We've got things listed by amount that we have. So if Repel appears on this screen, it's going to be near the top. Right. So while Pokemon are a bit deterred for the time being, allowing us a little bit of a chance to explore. But with that said, how are we getting further onwards from here? If we can't head to the left, and we can't bring that rock round from the right anyway, seems that we're just going over here. That was simple enough. The path is set, but do we need strength to continue? It looks like we do. You don't need to say a word. I can tell that you're here because you want to challenge a strong opponent. Sure, I, I'm sure you can tell that, yes. But it's a psychic this time, and sending out Espeon. Well, psychic v psychic, you say? Who's going to win this battle? Well, the one who doesn't use psychic moves is probably going to work. So we are now synchronized with it, which doesn't really help us that much. I could hypnotize it and go for two magical leaves. The magical leaf itself is a special attack. Surely it has some nice defense against specials. So I really should go for STAB to take it out. Psy shock, eh? Smacking me down, not very effective though. Well, that will finish you. My psychic wins against Psychic Kitty. And we keep moving on. 
Now it seems we definitely need to teach a Pokemon strength at this point in time. That's probably one of the more disappointing things that I've read out of all this. To make it further, we need all HMs. So the question comes, which one to teach it to? We've got Venusaur that probably could learn it. Um, Lucario could probably learn it. Lucario could probably definitely learn it. But what move do we remove? Dragon Pulse it has a nice type. Bone Rush has a nice typing. Close Combat is really powerful. It's just something I don't want to think about. So, something I f do want to think about. Hmm, I wonder if Aurorus could learn it. That might be our best bet over anything, to be honest. Now, where is our Strength HM? You had to be unable, didn't you? If you could learn it, then you could turn it into Ice-type moves. Mind you, it does have a power of 80 as a normal attack, so... Lucario, I think I'll teach it to you. It contains strength indeed. Seeming that Thingy's got Rock Smash on. Okay. I hope I don't need Waterfall, but Dragon Pulse is an 85 special attack. Aura Sophia is 80 special attack and never misses. So good, really, when you think about it. Do I mess up my typings? Well, to be honest, I've got two Pokemon that can take out Dragon. Let's keep our fighting type, my Aura Sophia and my close combat, to be able to hit two different types of defense. It's a fighting type, so go with the STAB. Lucario, use your strength. Alright then, with the Max Repel on, we shouldn't be getting any Pokemon bothering us for a little while. Let's push this into the hole and get moving forward. Considering the guys gave me Waterfall, I'm really worried now that I might need to use Waterfall. What's this cracked boulder, I wonder? Another wild Pokemon, or could it be a fossil for once? Wild Pokemon it is! Another Graveler? What? A wild chuckle appeared. You interesting creature, you! What are you? What are you? If I were a Pokemon professor, I'd just go, nope, not bothered studying that thing. Not super effective? You like super defensive? What did you just do? Shared m its guard? I don't know what's going on. I feel like I might hurt myself now, though. Well, psychic nuking with critical hits still works out for winning. A lot of experience gain, though. I wish I used a quick ball. To be honest, it's not going to work on every single Pokemon, is it? Double battle time! I'm going to teach you a lesson! People call the strange for being more interested in perfecting our teamwork than challenging the champion. That's not strange. Double battles have their own fun. You were challenged by Brains and Brawn, Arman and Hugo. A Medicham and a Gallade. Ooh! A Gallade, you say? Or meet Gardevoir. Is Gallade not psychic fighting? Right, this is interesting. In the meantime, though, I have worst possible partner with me. Again. That's not going to go well, is it? Well, we know you're psychic fighting, so we probably even out overall. But Dazzling Gleam can hit both of you, which means you'll probably do more damage overall. Apart from that, you are going to go down as soon as someone breathes. So with that said, the best Pokemon against you guys, you're fighting again, probably is still the Vettel. Because it can heal itself up. Aurorus, you can't stay there. Maybe I should move you out of the second slot while you're in this cave. It's just terrible. Right then, Dazzling Gleam comes out. Super effectively on the opposing Medicham and Gallade. Takes you down. Wait a second, Fairy's good against fighting? Am I misreading things again? I can't keep my memory for this. See, this is why I wished I kept playing the Pokemon series before I did this Let's Play. Because then I'd know exactly what was going on. Leaf Blade, you say? Like a physical version of what I was doing? Okay. 
I get magical leaf, but you get leaf blade? That's interesting, to be honest. I can fire more leafs back at you, by the way. Hmm, Phantom Force could be interesting, but Dark Pulse will be fine as well, even though it's not very effective. And then it is good effective. Ah! Get defeated, Gallade! Farewell, my male counterpart. But yes, I just wish I'd be playing the Pokemon games before, because I could probably give you a lot better Let's Play by having the knowledge involved. Already imbued. But I'm still a learner! Even 60 episodes in! I want to learn the move Dragon Rush! Right, that sounds interesting. What is Dragon Rush when it's at home? Power 100, Dragon Type, Physical Attack. The user tackles the target while exhibiting overwhelming menace. This may also make the target flinch. Well, as people said, the Dark is super effective against ghosts, whereas ghosts can be super effective against other things. Dragon Rush would be really good considering I just removed a dragon move on someone else. It's overall more power, and it makes people flinch. That's good for me. Nicely done, Aurorus. You can take the experience as well, but Brains and Brawn, our man and Hugo, you're out of here. Man, this is boring. You can really see the frustration of defeat in my partner's face. You mocking him at the same time. Puh, you can see that. Poor fool's foolishness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. He's gonna beat me up. He's a fighting guy. Oops. Right, well, still, there's a little path up here with a way out. Does make you wonder about which way to go, how many multiple ways out there are. No trainer this way. There's another cave. Oh, wait a second. Does this side have torches? So, is torches like the official way to go? And. Come on, you can do it. I believe in me. There we go. It rearranged myself. Oh, I used another Max Repel. Oh, well. I didn't actually mean to that time, but still. Where are we coming out to? A Pokeball. A rare candy. We'll take that. Thank you. You keep on moving on, it seems, because nothing to see here. You never know. If I popped out Item Finder, we might have. I'm still getting stuck on that area. Let's keep following the torches and hope that we're somewhere near. Poker Center, you could have like a Poker Center rest up somewhere. That'd be really nice. Hello, fairy type. What you looking at? You think I'm just doing this fairy tell girl thing for funsies, do you? Get a taste of my power. Obviously, you're doing it for funsies. We just want to beat up all the dragons here, Kareen. Sent out an Azamaril. We have one thing that's super effective against you, at the very least. And we've just gained huge power! Too many abilities to learn what they do. There's actually people out there that know every single move type, every single move combination, as I said. Every single Pokemon's typing. And then every possible ability power that they have for fighting, if you know what I mean. What each one does, how much... I mean, that's a lot to commit to memory. There's so many permutations that you can think of, though in the end when you get to the top competitive battling scene, of course you wouldn't really see all that much. Super effective against fairies, say, eh? of course Venusaur time to go out once more. Because of course battling setups in the top thing are kind of a few, well, the range of Pokemon you can use are fewer, then there's all the brawls and that, like certain moves that always get seem to get used, like light screen and stuff like that. It seems that all the variation and interestingness of Pokemon kind of goes out the window a little bit in the competitivity type stuff and the ranked battles. Because everyone's just using kind of mirror Pokemon, training their 31 IV or whatever it is ones. To be honest though, if I were battling, I'd want to train the Pokemon. I mean, it's Part of the fun of the thing is building the best Pokemon, but then it's just the fact that there's only a few counted to be worth it. Whoa, you, you're good! You can still do free battles and the whatnot though, but then you get to fight legendaries as well. People with full legendary teams, I'm sure, are out there just to kind of troll the people that try to fight with normal Pokemon. And unhappiness was brought to the world. Well, we seem to have found ourselves another way through here. Where to, you say? Well, I'm a bit worried about going too fast. Where am I going now? Deep into a dark cave? 
fact, it seems that I've created one crazy shortcut. Now Lucario's learnt strength, because this is the start of the whole thing. Well, at least now we know if we want to return to a Pokemon Center, we can get back in no time at all. But to be honest, we're still okay in some fighting shape thanks to O-Powers and the whatnot. We can't head through this way? It's a crack in the wall there. Repels, effects wore off. We don't really need it out here. Hmm, well, another trainer over there, but I'm wondering about this crash wall, but still. Time for a ghost battle, it seems. I can see your aura. It's got an unlucky color about it. What are you trying to say? I've got bad luck. How dare. You were challenged by Hexmania Krasia. A very exotic name. A Gorgeist? It's going to be my opposition. And that seems to be the evolved version of that punk peekaboo, which was a... Uh, yes, a ghost, not a dark type or whatever. I don't know. I don't know anymore. New kit somehow, which would be... Well, I'm not sure if I really want to have my Gardevoir out against ghosts, do I? Well, still, one psychic worked quite fine like a pumpkin scary part on the bottom and then the top part looks a bit dopey. And lucky for me I see. Indeed. Maybe if your eyes were just normal eyes and stopped twisting around in twirly twirls, you might do better. No, probably not. Victory Road is tough. Rest up a bit. <gasps> I like this lady. Lady, we're visiting you again. Even if you're proceeding slowly, keep walking. If you do, you'll reach your dream, I'm sure. I can't even... I was about to say, I can't even make it up the step there, but then a Pokemon came from above. Flying types are coming now to attack me? Hello, Firo. Long line, no see a Pokemon like yourself. Ah, original gen. Evolving from the Spearow, but of course, everyone still took Pidgeot. Because it was cool! And it was really early on in the anime, wasn't it? Was it one of his first Pokemon to evolve apart from Butterfree all the way? I'm not sure now. Can't say I watched it all that much. Find ourselves a Quick Ball. Nice, we've only used one, failed and lost it. Ugh. So that works out for me all the same. Oh, Zandri, wait a second, who's taking Victory Road as well? Who else? But you, madame. I've been thinking ever since all that trouble in Geosenge. Cassandra chose only Team Flare. You and I chose everyone but Team Flare. Since our positions forced our hands, you can't really say any of us were right. Oh, now you're re joining Team Flare? That's why I feel that if both sides have something to say, maybe it's best to meet halfway. What, everyone's half dead? So I made a decision! From now on, I don't want to battle just to win, but to see how you and your Pokémon think and feel. That's the kind of Pokémon battle I'm gonna have with you right now! Well, as long as it doesn't leave us feeling incredibly guilty for beating you again. You were challenged by Pokémon Trainer Serena, who has five Pokémon at her disposal. Now that's what I'm talking about if you're coming up here. Go get to the Pokémon League before me! Then you always like, by the way, how it always ends up. A psychic versus psychic at the start of a Serena battle. We just keep doing that somehow. We just keep doing it. Dazzling Gleam! Don't fake me out. That's bad. Ah! Always uses that as his first move as well. I'll just nuke you down all the same. Shadow Ball, that's not good! Ow, super effective, but not too much so. Considering the fact that there's a lady right next to me who can Pokemon send to me. Oh, come on, yes! Just about enough, it seems. I thought I didn't do it then. God of War gained a boosted experience! Lovely, lovely, level 71. About to send in Vaporeon! Will we switch our Pokemon? Skippy, that's what I'll say to that. Time to abuse all the type weaknesses that we can, now that we know. Time to nuke you down with a pedal blizzard! Oh, I do know that you're probably gonna crank out an ice beam on me if you don't go down. I know you're not the ice Eevee, but still, I'm pretty sure you can learn it. It's about covering your typings after all. Greninja grew to level 74, nearly three quarters of the way to level 100 after all. 
Altaria is next. Oh my goodness, we know what this Pokemon is. But now I forgot. Good going. Me. Alright, who to send in? Isn't this what we did last time? We sent in Great Ninja just because we were a bit... Mm. Altaria, you say? Oh, yes, exactly. It's you. And then we had this weird... Oh, and then I used Rock Thing on you, and it did loads of damage, and I was really happy. But we've got Night Slash this time. Which didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Ow! Nasty, nasty guy. In fact, that was super effective against me. So, wait a second. Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh, we got ourselves some HP restoring power there. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. Abusing my dark type. I thought it was a psychic move at first. I completely missed what it was. So you are fairy as well then, I take it. I'll just finish you off with another Night Slash. That'll be fine. Take you out of the equation. I was really thrown apart then. Confused. Okay, a chestnut is coming out next. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yes, we will. Time to get Nuke from the sky. Oh, wait a second, you're fighting as well. I know that makes us super super duper effective against you, but... Considering my dark typing, you're not, like, super weak against me either. Well, we can hope one thing, that you're super duper slow. Oblivion Wing? For four times effectiveness? That'll do me. Even though Fly does more, I just want to see the cool effects. Poor Chestnut. And next on the list? Apart from Lucario going to level 70, is Absol the Dark Type. Which we know how to abuse just fine, don't we, Lucario? Time to get out there once more. Did you enjoy seeing how my Pokemon did? They did pretty well against you, that's for sure. This is where you... Oh, wait a second. Hmm, a bit confused here. I was wondering, wasn't she with the Mega... Training with the Mega Pokemon thing? I was wondering if she got a Mega Ring then. Doesn't Absol have a Mega Form? Well, it would have if it wasn't down on the ground unconscious. But still, Pokemon Trainer Serena is defeated. Oh, she's so unhappy again. So I still can't beat you. You know, it's because I met you that I was able to get this far. Well, the journey's not over yet. Who knows how strong we'll get? Indeed, my dear. Let's keep on going. Get to the Pokemon League before me, challenge it and win. It's hard to put a finger on it exactly, but I feel like you and I are alike. And that's why I didn't want to lose to you. But I think the reason we're so alike is because we have so many things in common. I'm really happy that we're friends. Thank you for the max revives, my dear. I'm renewing my rivalry with you. Since you're my rival, I want you to become a stronger and stronger Pokemon trainer. We'll keep getting stronger too, of course. I suppose the first step is mastering the power that comes from the bond between me and my Pokemon, just like you did. Do your best at the Pokemon League. An awesome trainer like you can handle it. No, go fight them. I want to fight you as the last battle. Suddenly get a mysteriously powerful Pokemon. Get like Xerneas somehow, I don't know. Well, we'll rest up and join you. You next episode, guys, because we defeated Serena once more. Sent her the wrong way, which is unhappy for me. I really wanted her to keep going. You should always fight your rival at the end, after all. And with all our presents picked up, keep continuing up Victory Road next time. I wonder how far we are if this is only halfway. That would be ridiculous. But I'm wondering, considering the Pokemon Center lady, I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.